Okay, guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, today, obviously, we're at the dairy again. Um, I really want to go back and see if I can shoot some more birds with a 17. So, that's what I'm out here doing. So, we got calves. What's up? It, you're hungry, aren't you? Yet, that's a little weird, dude. If you weren't raised on a farm, that probably seems kind of weird. All you people out there that have been around calves. Uh, what's up, bud? Anyway, what I'm out here doing, we're going to be trying to shoot some starlings. Shoot some sparrows. Calm down. I also have a little bit of footage that I've taken through the course of, you know, a few days here and there. Uh, some is from just random birds that I shot with the 17 because they presented a good opportunity, uh, but I wasn't really filming. But I had the scope cam set up already, so I filmed it. And then Bob and I were out here the other day also shooting some starlings with the 12 gauges. So you're probably gonna see that footage here next and then get into the scope cam stuff. It is right before feeding time for the calves. So they're going absolutely bonkers right now. Calves are so much fun. But let's not put this off any longer. Let's see if we can shoot something. Well, there's all my spare ammo. Nine shots. Better make them count, right? But the 17, she treated me really well. Really well. I just really, really like this gun. Really nice and flat, shoots straight, and uh, it's got some pop to it. Well, and you know how you can tell if you've been hunting the same area too much? Is when even sparrows see you coming and take off. Uh, I gotta be a whole lot sneakier. A whole lot sneakier. Still making my rounds. I think, ooh, there's some sparrows over there. Now, before I get into some shooting, I've had quite a few guys comment about shooting at an upward angle. And I do agree with you guys. You need to be super careful when you do that. But let me explain what I got going on here. Well, I decided since I'm sniping, I'm gonna do it from a roof. At least I hope to. See if I can get a couple shots off this way. Uh, there's a few trees that I can see pretty good from the rooftop here. Let's see how it works out. further a little bit more he's literally behind the half oh there he goes well it's this barn's turn to go get milked so they're all heading in towards the parlor taking their time apparently here we got an English house sparrow. About, I'd say, oh, 30, 35 yards. Big swing, big miss. Same situation. Something's wrong. Well, uh, I'm guessing scope got bumped somehow. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, both those last two shots, they should have been done. No problem, dead. Uh, I'm guessing just riding around here in the feisty that something rattled, something bumped. I can't remember it really getting knocked into anything, but I mean, stuff happens. So uh, I need to get it re-zeroed. Either there will be enough footage for me shooting other stuff and with Bob that it'll make a video or we're going to have to come back out and uh, finish this up some other time. But that's all uh, for today. I gotta get this thing re-zeroed and uh, hopefully uh, next time is a whole lot better. What's up guys? Welcome to the dairy. Today we are out here. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna be out trying to patrol for some sparrows, some starlings, maybe a pigeon, I don't know. But it's just too beautiful not to get out here and enjoy the spring weather. It's probably like 70-ish, maybe a little bit more, 70, 75. It's not windy. It is wet. Look at how wet. It's a soupy mess around here. We've been getting rain like every other day, rain through the night. It's it's a lot of a lot of moisture coming down. Uh, I've seen a decent amount of starlings right before dark, uh, getting close to when they're starting to head back towards town. 
Maybe there's a tree row or something over there that they like too. I, I don't know. Either way, uh, there's not a ton flying around right now, but I'm really hoping, I'm hoping to get a few of them. Bob, Bobby guy is coming out. Uh, he should be out here before too long. Uh, let's, let's do this thing. And because you guys seem to ask, rocking the Benelli SBE2 using Federal seven and a half shot, ounce and an eighth, Carlson Cremator, long range. That's, that is my standard go-to pest hunt setup for shotgun. So now you guys know. I'm going to tell you guys right now, my shooting has been off. Uh, I've been trying contacts instead of glasses. I just cannot get used to it. I got to keep on trying. I might just switch back to the goggles, but like I am struggling, struggling to get back in my groove. And honestly, it's a little embarrassing. The reason, let me tell you real quick why I'm switching to contacts more often is because of the scope cam videos that you guys have been loving, by the way, apparently. Um, I plan on doing some more of those, but it's really hard to shoot a scope with glasses on. For me anyway, uh, it's just where they, it, it just doesn't work very well for me. So I shoot a lot better with a scope if I don't have my glasses on. So I've been doing a lot of that and it's it's messing with my shotgunning. So I might just sort of start switching back and forth. I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but like I have this issue with contacts. They don't like me. So I've been trying to get used to it. Something about putting something in your eye just doesn't set right with my face. Anyway, enough excuses. Let's see if I can connect. He's on the ground on the front. Well, I already know you guys are gonna ask, hey, where's the cam footage uh, from the barrel? Forgot the end cap for it. And so whenever I shoot, the battery falls out. No footage. So it's just gonna be a GoPro footage. So sorry guys. Mm, paraplane, Bob shooting again. He wants that pigeon bad. <laughs> See what I mean by just soupy? Ugh. Hey, but this is this is farm life here. With everything going on with this whole uh, pandemic and stuff, not a lot here on the dairy actually changes. Cows still get milk, cows still get fed, and uh, luckily for me, I still gotta come out here, which I feel bad for a lot of you guys that are stuck at home, out of school early, out of work, like, is a crappy time. Hopefully you guys like these videos though. At least they can keep you entertained for a little bit. So, Oh, that's a dove. <laughs> hey buddy, see you September. Ooh. That was a miss. Well, I haven't been shooting much, but Bob's been making it rain. Here's one of his birds. Looks like I need to finish this guy. That guy, there's Bob's bird. I mean, I finished him but it's Bob's. Right here, right here. Smoke. Oh, he's dead. I feel good about that. In the poop pond. I feel good about that. shot at the same that. time. I took two stabs. You took one. I'm I was like, I'm just going to wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to die. Oh, you there he goes. I, I got some redemption coming. You're getting there. See if I can go find him now. Right over here somewhere. Up oh, there he is. Maybe one and a half, if you know, depending on who got that other one that Bob and I shot at. But hey, I'm having fun. This is just the time when those flocks are coming through that I was talking about earlier. Big groups, eight to twelve. Yeah, that's a little bit high. There he goes. Got that one. Bob missed. I, I'm not happy about that at all. <laughs> Gives me no satisfaction at all that Bob missed and I got mine. See, this is why I love the dairy. Laid back, leisurely, shoot if something comes, you don't have to. It's just fun. Ooh. Eee, that was ugly. Tell me guys, how many of you pick up your empty shells that you just shot? And the first thing you often do is, anybody else? Like, that there takes me way back to dove hunting when I was real small. I love that smell. Well guys, I think, I think I got the 17 dialed in again. It was off by about 
two inches. So it definitely got bumped around the feisty sometime and got knocked loose. So hopefully she's back to where she needs to be. So hopefully I'll be able to get a few shots on camera here and uh, we'll have some great scope cam footage. So let's go see if we can find some birds. Man, I really want to take a shot on one of those starlings there. They're about, oh, 50 yards or so, but sitting on that wire. Safe for them, and they have no idea. All right, there's a starling. He's at about, oh, he's maybe 20 yards. Got him. I'm gonna have to review the footage on that. Either I missed a little bit low and off to one side, so I'm kind of afraid up at that range, it should have just drilled him. Uh, but it only hit him here by my thumb and took off. I mean, it hit him, don't get me wrong, but he wasn't dead dead. At that range, it should have absolutely just fallen like a rock. So either, either the gun's not dialed in like I thought it was, I need to go actually put it in a bench. I didn't have access to a bench and so I did the best I could uh, with what I had. But I mean, we got one but I'm not really happy about the performance of what I just had. So we're gonna get a couple more shots. If I miss and there's no reason why, uh, we're gonna put it up. Otherwise, we're gonna keep on going with the, with the good old scope cam. Starling, about 30 yards. Well, that was much better. Flat out just drilled him there. So let's go see if I can find him now. Here he is. There we go. I'm much happier with that. So, yeah. All right, I got a little confidence back. That's a good thing. Uh, I wanna show you guys kind of what my hiding strategy looks like here. See that elm and these three elms, they all get a lot of traffic from starlings. They come out, they come over these freestall barns here, and they just sit in those trees. So, I found a spot where I can shoot. There's a couple of dead spots where I can't shoot, but there is one, two, three spots, I'm gold. So, I mean, three out of, well, two and a half of the trees are no problem at all. But that's a whole lot of opportunity, especially for something that hot. So what I'm doing is I'm hiding in here. They don't use this anymore, I'm not sure why, but it's a big bunker. Uh, I have lots of stuff to brace my gun on, and it just makes for uh, some really solid shooting, or at least, that shot was so hopefully it gets better we can see if i can get another two or three and uh we're gonna call that a day then another starling it is getting hot i really like this hide uh the, i'm i'm much happier with this that guy fell like a rock too hopefully i can find him they never fall exactly where you think they will. Here we go. Can't show you the back of them because uh, the 17 does a number. That's another bird there. That's three. I'm really happy. Hopefully, you know, it's not real steady. I'm still only taking about a shot every 20 minutes to half hour, but I'm getting a few shots. I'm, it's, it's a beautiful day. I'm just happy to be outside and a chance to make a video is even better. So I hope you guys really like it. If you guys are enjoying this scope cam footage, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I really appreciate it, and it really helps the video out. But uh, let's get back in the hide and see if we can get a few more. So I'm hunkered down here, watching my trees, you know, 17 waiting. I hear heavy breathing. What? Thank you. There we go. That that shot right there was about, oh, I'd say 25, 30 yards. Well guys, finally got another one to land. It's been awful slow. I mean, oh my goodness, it's been slow. So that'll probably be my last one, if I can find him here anyway. There he is. Another starling. Let's see if I can get you guys, Ooh. show you guys a little bit of that color on him. My wife made fun of me, but I really want to get one of these mounted. I just think it'd be cool, you know? 
a lot of people have a cool snow goose. They got a cool speckle belly. They got a cool Canadian goose. They got some awesome ducks. I know at least one of you out there has one of these because you guys left the comment. Never since you guys left that comment, I'm like, I like that idea, but I still got to make it reality. So uh, if you guys want to see a mounted starling, you guys need to drop a comment and then upvote the living tar out of it. That way I can tell my wife and say, see, the fans want it, I have to do it. So uh, yeah, go ahead and drop me a comment if you wanna see that. Well, wasn't the biggest day ever, but I hope you guys did like the video. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.